is the DDJ-800 controller really that much more lightweight and portable than the DDJ-1000? Let's take a quick look. This is the four channel DDJ RX. It's almost identical in size to the DDJ 1000. And this is the DDJ 800. That's a two channel and it's supposed to be 22% lighter, more portable, more compact and easier to transport. So what I was trying to accomplish is I was trying to go down from a four channel controller to a two channel controller, thinking I could save a little bit of weight, maybe take up a little bit less footprint and make it that much easier for me to pack in and pack out. But as I see, and as I got them side by side, you'll see it, it's almost identical. Um, yes, there's a weight difference of maybe just under three pounds and uh, maybe a couple inches on the side. But really when you're looking at it and when you're looking at your whole setup and takedown, nothing is gonna change. Just to show you a quick side-by-side -side difference, this is the DDJ 800 on this side. That's the DDJ RX. This is the one that's very similar to the DDJ-1000. So when you're looking at size and footprint, again, they're almost identical. So in conclusion, I was thinking that since I don't normally use four channels when I'm out doing mobile gigs, I could go down to a two channel, maybe simplify my setup. So I tried the DDJ-800 and nothing changed. But what will change when you go to this is you're gonna have to learn a new controller, which could be a little bit discouraging. You spent so much time learning and be becoming familiar with your current controller, that going to this one is going to feel foreign and you're going to regret it.